Pedro, thank you so much for the host. 32 people. Thank you so much for the host. Very kind of you. How are you doing, Pedro? Let me just read to that. <laughs> thank you so much, Sinichi, for the host. Very kind of you. We are about to play. I guess you guys got here just in time because we are about to play an unknown hand deck for the standard format. So we'll see how that goes. Gosh, the unknown moves so much. <laughs> Thank you so much for the host, Pedro. Very, very kind of you. So, welcome to everyone who just got here. Um, we are going to be focusing on Unknown Hand. Everything fine, but I them too strong. You won every game but one Septile in two hour stream. Oh, and you know what? I caught the end of the Septile game where he chose not to KO and used the GX attack. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty strong. Um, so, yeah. Um, unknown hand once you return before you attack if this Pokemon is your active Pokemon And if you have 35 or more cards in your hand, you may use this ability if you do you win this game So pretty interesting ability. We'll see if we can pull that off in order to get 35 cards in our hand We will be using Sylvan GX which every turn magical ribbon puts three more cards into our hand then we are also going to be using a 4-4 line of Alolan Sandslash where Slush Rush every single turn allows us to draw an extra card um, by having per Alolan per each uh, Sandslash and then we also have Raisin GX with its double draw attack which draws us two cards <clears throat> and then we have a bunch of cards to make sure that we have Sylvia in the active we have 4 Nest Ball, 3 Great Balls, 10 Basic uh, Fairy Energy and then 4 Switch as well we also have 4 Elms to get Basics out and set up our sand slashes yeah for Luger and for how um, someone was saying Whitney might be better than how um, potentially potentially I can see the power of Whitney um, but the first Whitney and the second Whitney are strictly worse than how so on average it's almost the same right like how nets you 12 extra cards Whitney nets you 11, 18, so it's better, but then if you price a Whitney, it's not as good. It's only one card better, and we won't be taking any prizes, so I'd rather have the reliability of how. Um, needs water? No, it doesn't need water. Um, wouldn't Lapras be better? Oh, yeah. Lapras would not be better than Reason because Lapras needs a water energy, and Reason needs a colorless. And so, we also have the Fairy Charm to protect Sylveon from fighting-type Pokemon. Uh, fighting GXs, uh, the Grass Charm from Grass GXs, the Dragon Charm from Dragon GXs, and the Fairy Charm from, I mean, the Psychic Charm for Psychic GXs. So we'll see how this ends up doing. Um, we'll see. I also have a Cerola to pick back cards, prevent your opponent from drawing prizes. So we'll see. We'll see if we can pull this off. Um, I'm hoping the um, the potential allure of or when my opponent sees Sylvian, they'll think of Sylvian control and they'll play different than um, than if they were up against the unknown Sylvian. Um, I was just thinking maybe Counter Gatcher or Skuzmas would be good um, to try to delay a threat, but I guess we won't be really using um, Sylvian in the beginning. <laughs> we just lose to Judge or Marshadow. I mean, Judge and Marshadow definitely reset, right? What you can do. And hello, realgames.ca. In expanded, Whitney equals busted. I disagree because, like, sure, Whitney is very good. Yeah, Whitney is very good in a way, but it also means that. Um, oh, nice. Okay, it also means that um, if you have Whitney, um, it also means that, um, like, sure, Verse Seeker draws you a lot of cards. However, however. Um, However, like those are verse seekers you're not dedicating to using Guzmas or um, Acerolas or whatever else, right? Or Cold Rest. So Whitney, I feel, is deceptively good, right? Um, don't forget Jerusalem GX attack to pick up Bench Pogon for more cards. That is true, Frostlass. That is true. Uh, pretty good starting hand for sure. For sure. Uh, the EV top deck just made it even better. And we're gonna see a choice band. If this is Ray though, no, this has to be a Lolan. Yeah, this is a Lolan executes. Counter stadiums could also be good. <laughs> and 
Manchester, thank you so much for the extra bits. Very, very kind of you. Um, so yeah, how it draws 12, Whitney draws 16, right? So it's four more cards, but if uh, Whitney is prized, then now it's worse than how, right? Well, then it's exactly the same as how. And you're not taking prizes with this deck. Okay, so I think we just go all out, right? We're gonna get, I'm not gonna play anything else other than this switch. And then I shouldn't forget to use Slush Rush. We need to basically draw and have in our hand our whole deck. Um, I guess perhaps setting up another Sylveon would be good. Right? Okay, so I have 34 cards left in my deck and I have 5 in my hand. So I can play up to 4 more cards. I can only play up to 4 more cards. So I feel like Acerolas are gonna be important. And then this only protects from GXs, right? Yeah, that's unfortunate. Oh well. Um, oh, so you can't like just keep using Looker. Manchas, thank you so much for the extra bits. Very kind of you, you're slowly climbing up there. Thank you so much. It's 35 cards, it's 35. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can play four more cards, right? So that's Looker. Wait, what? Did my bunch just misclick? Oh no, he's gonna Kuzma. Okay. Um, so let's Looker. And then let's Lush Rush. Yeah, Kuzma would be pretty good. Oh, I can only play 32 actually, because I need to play down the unknown. So I'll pass, and then when he hits me, I will laser roll up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards so far. Wow, my opponent just passes here. Cool. So I'm gonna slush rush. This deck is good in competitive standpoint? No, it is not. It is definitely not great from a competitive standpoint. Okay, so let's use how this time. We get extra how, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 cards we have in our hand right now. You should bend Sandshrew. Yeah. I mean, I might want to keep the Sand Slashes in my hand. Maybe. Maybe we'll choose not to attack. Wow, Manchas, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the gifted uh, subscription to Fusic. Thank you so much. I'm sure he will definitely appreciate appreciate it. This is way better than Blacephalon. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, I need to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 cards in our hand. Plus 16, that's 37. Minus the unknown, that's 36. So we can only play one more card. I really wish I had a switch. Like that last card I wish was a switch. Dylan, thank you so much for the 300 bits. Wow, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. Okay. Uh, Netball for an execute though, not for a grass energy. Um, okay, so I definitely need to slush rush here. This is Looker. I really need a switch though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and then we win. Okay. Um, <laughs> so that's one victory for known without using, without actually using a known. So I actually think I'm going to put in a couple of Kuzmas. Yeah. Instead of, I think instead of one switch and instead of one great ball, I'm going to play two Kuzma. Yeah. That seems solid. Okay. So let's go again. Let's go again. Broken deck, right? <laughs> Broken deck. Take this to Worlds, right? I mean, I have nine months of playtesting for Worlds to go. And I'm only 40 championship points away. <laughs> the play for Brazil, potentially. 
Potentially. Okay, they have more shadow, apparently not. What was the opponent even doing? I mean, first off, misplaying the net ball, right? And now we're up against Jeremy. Oh, I feel like Jeremy's definitely gonna have. Um, maybe he's not watching though. I feel like Jeremy's definitely gonna have something though against us. Uh. Yeah, he's not watching. Manchas, thank you so much for the extra 200 bits. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Now, very clearly in first place, which is, I assume, what you wanted to do. Okay, this is the spread deck. This is the poison spread deck, which is not going to be a good strategy for him because we actually, like, we can continually Kuzma, right? We can continually Kuzma and we also won't be attacking, therefore not activating the poison thing. Yeah, so yeah, this is definitely the deck from Lil. Are we going to beat the champion deck from Lil? <laughs> Are we? That would be pretty cool. Ooh, underground expedition. Acrobatic, Nest Ball. I feel like normal Sylvian would naturally have an advantage over... Um, would naturally have an advantage over over that spread deck because you just get rid of all their energy. Okay. He will be watching now. Okay, so the shrine is kind of annoying. Um, I think I'm gonna look her. Okay, so I do get another EV. I'm not gonna play it yet though. I'm just gonna Magical Ribbon. Do I want Sandshrews even? I mean, I guess I do want the option to Sandshrew. Um, so I'll get two and then I'll definitely get Aetherola. Right? I'll definitely get Aetherola. This spread deck won in Europe indeed. And thank you so much for the follow. Who was it? Manchester, thank you so much for the extra bits. Up to 500. Thank you so much. And Freaky Wolf, thank you so much for the follow as well. But wow, Manches, thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the support. Same to you, Dylan. And that's the two people who... Okay, so will he have Judge? Will he have more Shadow? Probably will have more Shadow. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards so far. So let's go triple how then. Let's go triple how now. So now we have 18. <laughs> Man just likes even numbers. Okay, we see a Kukui. We finally see an escape rope for my opponent. Is the strat to not bench it on so he doesn't know a strategy? I mean, yes. I feel like the looker and the how definitely uh, showcase a little bit of what we're trying to do. I'm gonna go ahead and Kuzma. And then I'm in a magical ribbon again. I need to keep a Sylvian in the deck though, so I can bench EV, um, Acer Ola, and then attach and still evolve. So I'm gonna get these. Sure. Then I get these. The, the Guzma already, right? The Guzma already putting in work. Yeah, we haven't seen Rafa indeed. Well, he was here last week. Yeah, he was here last week. Uh, oh, that's Shuckle Zekro. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 cards so far. So we're 14 cards away. So we can play a bunch of stuff still. <laughs> I'm glad matches. How are you enjoying the intros and the outros for the for the videos and the thumbnails? <laughs> oh no, another date on Liza. Okay. I mean another way to switch out, right? Which is not great. So I'm pretty sure we still have this as an option. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and magical ribbon. So what else do I need? Perhaps a switch. And the Looker. This unknown deck would be a nightmare to play with, yeah. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24 cards. Okay, so Kukui. Oh no, <laughs> Electro Power. We just love. That's a 670 damage. Oh my gosh, why do you play Electro Power? Come on. Okay, so that didn't work out. <laughs> Maybe we got greedy. Um, I mean, he did exactly Kukui and the TC and the Electro Power. So nothing we could have done there. 35 cards is a lot though. 35 cards is definitely a lot. Electro Power makes sense, yeah. Okay, so let's get, we get to go first. I think I definitely needed to play safer by benching Sanchez. That was a very greedy way to play the match. <laughs> Very greedy way to play the match. Okay. So. <laughs> Neuvert. I mean, that's viable, right? Okay, Looker does find us another Sanshu, and then we'll pass. We are up against the CGI 9 builds. It's easy to keep track of, yeah. Just simple addition. And yeah, just the previous number, you add three, take away whatever you played, and then you just go... Um, <laughs> um, okay, so definitely gonna get the studio eye here. Uh, I might have to defense girl. What if your opponent copycats for like 30 cards? I mean, you literally can't do anything about that. Wow, that's an insane. That is actually an insane slush rush card. <laughs> that is an insane slush rush card. Okay, so let's switch. And now, this is not the, the fairy fairy charm. We want the fairy, is there a fairy fairy charm? No, there isn't, right? I don't need a Nevi. I have the energy. There's no, is there, no, there is dark psychic fighting grass. Okay, so I feel like Kuzma is gonna be our friend. And then another slush rush friend. Clutch slush rush. <laughs> That's very difficult to say. How did Kirim do? Kirim did okay. Uh, you, you just rely too much on, um, you rely way too much on Arceus Prism. Yeah, which you can only play one of. Um, have I seen the video Donald where he made the known damage card? No, I have not. Um, I did read about it and I have seen people who like, um, I think who claim that the Blastoise, like Archie's Blastoise plus the Plasma Freeze plus energy, um, with what was it? Something that returns energy or something, um, in order to just get all the damage down. Um, something like that, you yeah. know, something like that. Um, I was playing the unknown stuff, Jeremy, indeed. I got super greedy against you. I got super greedy. Energy reset, yeah. Ooh, and we get judged. That deck can actually win quite easily on turn one. I mean, easily-ish, right? Easily-ish. Okay, we literally need our whole deck. I don't think I can weather enough damage before we end up losing. Um, yeah, Fairy Nine Tails is just as strong. Fairy Nine Tails is just gonna be way too strong here. A hundred damage too. Okay, so I don't need another Sylvian. And probably two more Sanchus. Maybe not two more, but. <laughs> I will grab a Sylvian. And then I will Slush Rush. If there was a Fairy Fairy Charm, we would be good here. Okay, so Magical Ribbon. I definitely need Kuzma's 
and actually another EV probably. And yeah, let's just grab the two Guzmas. Any bad matchup for Blacephalon? I think non-GX decks are a decent matchup against Blacephalon. Um, I think Alola and Executor can go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I think Gramble can actually beat it. Um, White Curran probably destroys it. I feel like Lost March has an even-ish matchup as well. Um, okay, so my opponent gets the first knockout. We'll PK on this Alola and Sand Slash as well. So I do need to boost on this guy. All we used up a switch, which is good. And I didn't search for another level on Sand Slash. That was pretty silly. Um, okay, 32 cards. Let's go ahead and Magical Ribbon. For double Sand Slash and a Serola. Okay, I mean, Guzma's opposing Guzma's or TC to retreat. Uh, does what my one needs. Yeah, there's a Guzma. Doesn't even bother trading, right? Doesn't even bother trading before he plays a Guzma. And Fender Arrows before he plays a Guzma. <laughs> I mean, before he trades. So, yeah, there's no way we're gonna get 35 cards in our hand before we lose the game. There's just absolutely no way. Consider of both Sand Shoes. I feel like that was. Not the right way to go about it, because sure, now you have KO on this guy, but... Yeah, my opponent has way too many cards. I have one, two, three. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not even using Looker and stuff. <coughs> yeah. I mean, I think I'm gonna have to wait on the Kuzma. I'm gonna wait on the Guzma until I only have the Sylveon left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah. We won one game, but because our opponent conceded, <laughs> not for any other reason. This deck is pretty underwhelming. We're watching history being made. I mean, I don't think we're gonna see history be made <laughs> anytime soon. Um, one Kuzma gone, one Switch gone, one DC gone as well. So my opponent will attack me. Why? What? You have to knock out anyway, right? So why would you waste the Feather Arrow on the Sand Slash? Jeez. Why would you waste a feather arrow on the sand slash? Okay. I mean, this is my only possible chance, right? A magical ruin. If he has a good one, he has a good one. There's nothing we can do about it. If he somehow doesn't have a DC or a Kuzma here. We still lose. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The fact that my opponent actually traded before playing the cards might mean he doesn't have it. Right? And no se que hace el fortress de los thunder shuffle Sekiro. Oh, gets the DP off of the second trade. Because that's what my opponent has been doing, right? He's been just playing cards immediately. So yeah. Gonna find a better spot. Okay. <laughs> One last try. Otherwise, we're giving up on this deck. It sounded with potential, but it's just 35 is way too many. If it was 25, maybe it would be viable. But 35 is just way too strong. <laughs> no, definitivamente no, Shoko Sekiro. Okay, so... And our opponents have not been fooled, right? They don't assume Sylveon. 
and it's like you can't play denial stuff because then like you can't get it back right you can't get the denial stuff back we do get two mulligans mulligans are pretty nice am i going to play giratina genastasi i've already played malamar giratina the video is already on youtube in case you want to watch it and mancha thank you so much for the extra bits very kind of you very very kind of you auto win buttons need to be super hard to fulfill indeed yeah um see do draco what other decks have i streamed today besides this one i streamed a white qrm with uh tabu gogo formosa and arcus prism star deck why don't i play whitney leaking of pokemon because whitney versus how it's like the advantage of whitney it's only on the last in the last one yeah you have to play the fourth whitney in order to get that advantage and i mean it's fine it's just i don't know it's like i can try whitney right um it's just it only matters until the very last card you know and my opponent yeah being fooled by uh, by Sylvian immediately goes for the resource management or in Guru. Um, opinion on White Curum. White Curum ended up being pretty decent, honestly. White Curum ended up being very decent. I guess my opponent will be very confused by the how right there. And then I'm definitely grabbing an Eevee. <sighs> you know what? I already have a Nest Ball. Yeah, Eevee, Sanchu. Actually, no. Dole, Sanchu, and another how like if you prize one whitney then it's strictly the same as how i don't know like i could play whitney um did you try a counter game deck dg sonic hood not yet i have not tried a counter game deck yet he was so fast to get out the orange guru yeah You use a lot of amulets, but but you, like you can't you can't um, like sure the last winning will end up drawing five cards rather than three. Will that be the difference between winning or losing a game? I don't think so. I honestly don't think so. Uh, I did play the fire, the unit energy. I did indeed. Yeah, I did indeed play the unit energy. Okay, so there is a strike, huh? My opponent must have been really confused by that. But he's playing Luker himself. What? <laughs> what is my opponent playing even? Netball, Spinarak. Oh, he's playing Lost March. Is he? Maybe? What? What is my opponent playing? Crushing hammers, order pads, spinnerack, or in guru. He's playing a denial deck ish. I don't really care. <laughs> okay, so wait, what? I don't understand what my opponent is playing, but. I am okay with it. Puts back three acrobites. Okay, so let's get those extra cards going. It's just how there's no way he will be able to get rid of all ten energy before we get all the cards we need. So let's get double sand slash and a looker, and then we win. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, we're two for two with this deck. We are two for two with this deck. Our bones don't let me win. Don't let me use a known. Um Es que Shuckle Take hay otras maneras mucho más fáciles de pegar 190 sin perder a tu Pokémon a la zona perdida. Um For the win the prize you can use a Clarion, but are you really like you'd rather just draw three more cards, right? Like, using a turn to Gladion is worse than just using a How to draw three extra cards. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I played Luker Lock. There's a video on my channel for Luker Lock for sure.
Yeah, I really I want to pull off one unknown hand. Just one, right? One and I'll be happy. Yeah, one and I will be happy. Our opponents just don't let us. Our opponents just do not let us. This deck is not good though. <laughs> this deck is definitely, definitely not good. The Japanese list didn't play with me indeed. I mean the Japanese list did that thing even win anything? I doubt it. I doubt it. You know? Oh my gosh, Grand Bull. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna Elms. For another EV and two centuries. Pablo, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? For a vacation or to live? I think that's an important question because they would have different answers. It won from 14 masters. Okay, so it won like a lead challenge. That's nothing. Yeah, that's nothing. I assume it got hyped by PTCG Radio or something. Uh, for a vacation, that's a good question. I would probably go to either Alaska or um, one of the like northern European countries like Norway or Denmark or Sweden um, in order to um, in order to to see those places and see the I forgot the name in English Aurora Boreal what's the name in English the Milky Way well it's not the Milky Way the Northern Lights yeah I would love to see the Northern Lights um, I would probably go somewhere around those parts okay so shrine is annoying uh, bodybuilding dumbbells makes it so that my boy will not get too close to knocking out the sylvian i do top take a sand slash which is nice so let's go ahead and look her for three and then we shall slush rush <laughs> how about you where would you go uh i won't i won't i'll just hold on to these cards i will have a magical ribbon for kuzmas and i already have a roll as well so why not a looker Right, I have how on Looker in case I'm feeling the top or the bottom. Okay. So there's a Grand Bull. No Slogma is good. Because Logma and or Macargo is what makes that deck work. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 cards so far. So we're a third of the way there. Yeah, we are a third of the way there. All out hits us for enough damage to where we are forced to either Aterola or Guzma. I feel like Guzma is stronger. I definitely feel like Guzma is the stronger play here. And then we will Slush Rush for sure. Oh, I should have grabbed the Sand Slash. That was silly. And then we will Magical Ribbon for Sand Slash. And then double how because why not you really want to see japan and thailand those are good places as well yeah like i there is so many good places i want to go to i want to go to south africa i want to go to japan as well should we spend the active to draw one extra card so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen cards Still a long way to go, guys. Still a long way to go. Okay, so that's gonna be the Macargo. No! Wait, what? Why wouldn't you grab Slugma there? Should have kept Sylvan in hand and Energy Evolution instead. That is correct, Destroyer King. That is actually very correct. Okay. So now we're getting eight extra cards every turn. Off of How plus Lush Rush plus double slush rush Iceland yeah Iceland is definitely another cool destination 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 18 cards so far I could ace roll out to prevent I could no no I can't ace roll I already have to. never mind I have two EVs prized that <laughs> could actually be an issue um so let's grab a switch, I don't know. 
Okay, so now we're talking. Eight extra cards every turn is a pretty big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one. Maybe, maybe in two turns we will be able to pull this off. Wow, attaches energy to our Guru in order to be able to potentially retreat. So the next Guzma will be pretty good. Rescue stretchers back. We crumble into the deck. Maybe this deck needs Gladian? It doesn't have Gladian. I don't think it needs Gladian. Like, Rising 2 is an anomaly. Double Nest Ball for Double Snubble or Double Slugma? Ditto, okay. Kind of like a Slugma. And then pass. So, I feel like I should Acer a lot this turn. Let's Lush Rush though. Can I get the one this turn? No, right? No, I was at 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I feel like I should Acer Ola here. Yeah, let's Acer Ola. I'll bench the Eevee. And I will Magical Ribbon. Four. I mean, does it matter at this point? Probably not. Uh, Luz, I mean, potentially a good option as well. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight cards. So I can't win next turn. I can't win next turn. Counting cards is hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so my opponent just passed. Okay, are we going to pull this off? Okay, let's Lush Rush. Double Slush Rush. So many cards. The hand is glitching. Did you see that? The hand is glitching. Oh no, it's not anymore. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 cards. So, it's about to happen, guys. It is about to happen. How would you even hold this many cards in real life? <laughs> We couldn't win this turn, the previous turn. Now, are we going to be able to pull this off? We see a switch. We see a switch. We have it. We have it. <laughs> we have it. Thank you, Inumaru, for being a good sport and letting me pull off the unknown. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me pull this off at least once on the street. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. Do I just bench the unknown? Go for a switch. Let's do how just in case. And then we go hand. Victory! <laughs> Victory. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's pretty crazy. <laughs> Zero damage dealt. Our MVP was EV. I agree because it got a Sylvian, right? It got a Sylvian. There we go. <laughs> we pulled it once, guys. We pulled it off once. So that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> that was anticlimactic. I mean, what were we expecting? Like fireworks, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> that was pretty funny to see. Um, but anyways guys, that will be all for today. I do have an early day of streaming, so um, I will um, I will be leaving this here for now, but um, I mean if you guys want to try it out um, to, If you want to try to troll other people 
on the ladder with the hand uh, deck, you can definitely try it out for yourself. This is a list that I played a little bit different for um, from the Japanese list that did well. I feel like Guzma ended up being pretty pretty clutch. Yeah, pretty clutch. Um, so yeah, thank you so much, especially to our opponent who was a really good sport. And um, yeah, I mean, we went 3-2, right? We went 3-2 um, overall with this deck, right? So not bad, I guess. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching